Wildcard just released the gameplay trailer for the Desmodus Draculae, which is one of the new creatures coming to ARK with the official Fjorder DLC map. And in this ARK news update, we will talk about all of the new information that was just revealed about the Desmodus Draculae, the new giant vampire bat. But let's start by watching the new gameplay trailer that just came out from Wildcard. Please like and share this video, comment and subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video. And let's get started! So in the first 20 seconds of this video, we already have a lot of reveals to unpack. First of all, the official Desmodus Draculae dossier says it advises you to hunt these horrors out in the light, and we see people shining flashlights on them here. This might be because they get a buff at night or in the darkness, and the lights could remove the buff making them easier to kill. Or this could be a new taming mechanic where you can only tame a Desmodus when your light is shining on it. This clip with the red lighting probably means we get night vision while we're riding a Desmodus due to their echolocation that bats have, which was mentioned previously by Wildcard but not in the official dossier. We also see an aberration cave here, which looks like it could be an updated version of the current purple aberration cave in the mod version of Fjorder, but it could also be a totally new cave, since there will be a lot of updates when Fjorder Official goes live in June. What we do know for sure is that aberration items like the flashlight and gems will be available on Fjorder, and this makes it even more likely that we will see rock drakes appearing on this map. In this next scene, we see the Desmodus picking up a player, and we can see a red glow apparently draining health from it to heal the bat, much like the blood wyverns do on Crystal Isles. So having a flying mount that you can heal back up quickly will be extremely helpful. And in this scene, we see it activating a true stealth mode and turning completely invisible at night. This will probably also work in caves and anywhere that's dark, so it looks a lot like a rock drake stealth, but it's it's going to make it really easy to sneak up on enemy players. And let me know in the comments if you think this will actually let you slip past turrets and things like that too, because that would be a real game changer. And here we can see the Desmodus using its scream attack to stun creatures and players for what looks like a very long time, and it hit almost the entire castle in one shot. And it looks like it's stunning something as big as an aloe or a carno here, and this could really shake up the meta in PvP to have a flyer that can stealth, appear out of nowhere, and lock down the entire base at one time. The dossier talks about this sanguine elixir you can make with a Desmodus modus and that helps enthrall the most stubborn of beasts, it might be that you need to use these elixirs as ammo to do this epic stun attack, but it could also give you some kind of kibble-like taming buff or lure passive creatures like a rare flower does, but they haven't been very clear on this, so let me know in the comments what you think this means. I'm also pretty excited to see what looks like a brand new castle. I don't recognize this style from any of the castles that exist right now on the Fjorder mod version. And there is a castle in a similar location, so it could just have a makeover, but we could see a lot of brand new surprises and new ruins and castles to explore on the DLC version that have never existed before. So I am really looking forward to seeing Fjorder official and exploring all of the brand new things you can see there. So before we wrap up this video, let me show you the official Desmodus dossier because it flashed up for a second on the trailer and you probably didn't have a chance to read it. But all of this is now official information from Wildcard. Wild, 
even with all the other monstrosities around here, this fugitive from a creature double feature deserves top billing. I mean, Dracula is right there in its species name, and Desmodus has a shriek that'll scare up just about anything out of its way. It's also shrewd enough to limit itself to victims that can carry off into the night. Although I'm not superstitious enough to advise stocking up on garlic and steaks before you decide to track down the Desmodus for yourself, I'd still advise you hunt these horrors out in the light and away from their caves. They seem uniquely adept at flying and hiding in those dark, narrow spaces. Domesticated. Taming one of these beasties lets you add its eerie abilities to your arsenal. Use their unsettling scream to scatter your enemies. Command Desmodus to snatch up small prey for you. Let its uncanny power to vanish into darkness become your personal stealth mode. Desmodus has blood thinner in its saliva, which drains prey of more blood than this vampire could ever digest. If you can stomach the excess blood and drain meat your vampire pet leaves behind you, you might even be open-minded enough to appreciate another of its unholy gifts, a sanguine elixir that helps enthrall the most stubborn of beasts. So that's probably all of the new information that will be revealed on the Desmodus Draculae, which will be released on the new Fjorder official map in June 2022. So far, they are still saying June 2022 is the release date, so it does look very promising that we will actually be able to play the official Fjorder map in the next two months. But keep an eye on this channel because we'll have more news updates about the Andrew Sarkis and the Fjordhawk, which are two other new creatures that will also be released with the Fjordr official map. So let me know in the comments what you think of the Desmodus Draculae. Do you want one after seeing this trailer? Do you agree with my theories or do you have any theories of your own? I always love hearing from you and I'm sure you will have some excellent points that I didn't even think of. And let me know if you are looking forward to the new Fjordr map. After playing on the mod version, I am so excited about the official release when you all can enjoy it too. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications because because I know the Fjordr map really well on the mod version, and I will be releasing tons of guides to show you all the secrets of Fjordr when it comes to official, so you could have the most fun possible on this epic new map. Thank you so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. Please give it a thumbs up and share it around because that helps us so much. And drop a comment, we love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video, which will come out very soon. And while you wait, we have tons of other videos you can watch right now, so check these out. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video.